Hello to everybody watching listing and once more welcome back to Mecha Bello. Playing against a silver Arvox, at least that's what I would say. I think you kind of have to roll the R into the A. I'm playing with Giant Specialist, Mustang and uh, Marksman into a Marksman Specialist with Sledges and Marksman. That's a lot of Marksmen. No uh, assault mode, otherwise I would kind of be expecting like turn one assault mode marksman or something crazy like that. This also is a tournament match and um, I have been doing very poorly in tournaments I must say. My tournament record is definitely bad, really bad right now. And I'm kind of getting frustrated over it because I'm expecting more for myself. But maybe I'm expecting more from too much from myself. If I look on Steam, that should be excluding this current recording session, I'm a bit shy of 340 hours into Make It Bellow. Considering what some of the people who are playing in tournaments have, that is nothing. Considering what many players at about my level have, that is considerably less. I kinda managed to even the chaff war, but my opponent's starting units are just leagues and bounds better than my own. And even if I had sledges instead of the, um, what's it called? Instead of the, um, ah, instead of the Mustangs, that wouldn't have changed much because four marksmen and a level three marksmen are mostly out of that. They will just annihilate that anyway. Anti interference module comes out or heavy armor. There's no hackers on the board yet, but uh, there will be hackers here. I go for the heavy armor. And my opponent, uh, I think he does as well, but I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he didn't pick anti-interference. Otherwise, yeah, I would not have gone for hackers in this game. He puts it on his stronger side with the stronger marksmen. So these sledges will tank a lot of shots. They will take three shots from the marksmen to get destroyed, I think. Yeah, it should be three shots. It's uh, bordering on four. But it is free. I guess if they die to two marksman shots without additional levels, adding another 100% of the HP will make it four regardless. Three or four. Can't be five. And can't be two. By sheer logic. Anyhow, I'm just adding some more chaff, trying to build a basic board and see what happens, what my opponent does. Nothing too surprising here. He also has some delayed chaff, which is super reasonable. But it's, I think it's a lot better for me than for my opponent because I have some Mustangs here that can just take care of the delayed chaff. It's not delayed far enough to really um, matter too much. The Marksmen are doing what they can. The round is definitely not looking too bad for me. But at the same time, like, I just get shredded again. It's about as bad as in the last round, but considering there's more supply on the board, it's not as bad. Level 3 wasps come out. I think that might just be the highest level of wasps that you can reasonably expect in the game anymore. It was so fun when you could get gifted level 6 carry wasps and just go ham, but then everybody was doing carry wasps and it kinda got stale. Nowadays, it's really fun to breed yourself some carry wasps. I think level 3, maybe level 4 is a decent starting point. I think level 4 would be warranted, but maybe that is too much. With the elite uh, uh, marksman giving less range, I think it's actually not too bad to go into bad carry wasp level 4. They won't outrange or won't start equal range uh, mustangs too much. I go for a hacker and I'm starting to play some hacker mustang. I need to turn something around and this is about the time. And though it will only be visible later, this here is a mistake. Technically, the range is good. 15 meters of range difference is pretty good. And the Vulcans have, uh, like being right in front of the hackers, is also pretty good because then they will mostly target similar units. And that means that uh, they can actually, uh, like, once a chaff gets cleared, the hacker will do more. And if the Vulcan is stuck on something that's not chaff, the hacker will start hacking it. And it's kind of what you want, but it's not super amazing for reasons that you will see soon. This hacker here doing its best to hack that Vulcan. 
There still is some chaff, but it's not enough. And unfortunately, the hacker does not lock onto that too quickly. Tanks moving in on this side. Hacker now doing whatever it can. But my Vulcan does not last long enough. Tower debuff happens. And that means my hackers get scorched. Without being able to do any significant thing this round. And my opponent wins it. Improved firepower does come out, however. Also, intensive training. Both good options, but I opt for the improved firepower because with additional levels it will start scaling better. There's lightning storm, but in round 4, that is almost half your supply. Curiously... Ah, yeah. Uh, I throw the um, improved firepower control on the hacker that was getting uh, more XP and was right behind a Vulcan. And I put another Vulcan here. But you will soon see why that is not exactly good. At least in a specific way with a specific interaction that I, in retrospect, uh, should probably be uh, like... Uh, <sighs> avoid in the future. I end up putting one bubble down simply so that I don't completely get obliterated by a storm and lose the entire match. And I'd put two levels into this and abandon that side. At this point, it's not worth it, I think. Now, we do have a scorpion on the board for my opponent. Fortunately, the crawlers do cover. Now, I have Vulcans right in front of the hackers. And that means that they should hopefully be starting soon with getting something that is actually worth it. Yeah, all the chaff has been obliterated now. The hack is going off. That scorpion is getting hacked. The Vulcan here is doing all of its tanking and the hacker is just out of sight of the AoE range. And will actually survive. And now, fortunately, I am starting to push through. I am leveling my opponent's uh, uh, Vulcan here. And now I suddenly have a quite significant force still alive. Two hackers, the Vulcan stuck on the other Vulcan soon. Yeah, it was stuck so long on a single tank. And all of a sudden my force is uh, actually pretty sizable. Some crawlers left, but that doesn't matter. I do end up taking a round with Hacker Vulcan. So now, what does my opponent do? Oh, advanced firepower control system. And I have a hacker that can level to level 2. And another hacker with um, improved firepower control. Both of us, are, of us up for that. My opponent is putting that on the Vulcan. And now he has a Vulcan that is doing some 5400 DPS. That is a lot, by the way. I go for range on the hackers. I think it's starting to really be worth it. Now we'll see if this Vulcan can grill everything quickly enough so that uh, it will actually work out. Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to be a bit safer against air units, so I at least put some of these Mustangs here, along with um, Marksmen, to cover for my air. Or for my opponent's potential air. If there's already established Marksmen and Mustangs out on the board, going into the air is kind of bad. And having hackers on the ground that are really doing a lot of hacking damage per second is also kind of scary to face on the ground. However, I'm also up against a Vulcan that is doing insane DPS and can delete these tanks in about uh, 0.6 seconds. I'm putting some crawlers here because if he does go for range, he could just start deleting these Vulcans and then I will be really sad. <laughs> 